Three, two, one. We're back for the second half of a Division II championship game. Going good, I tell you. It's, it's uh, well, it's zero to one, so you know uh, a lot of defense is, uh, is, is going on here. So mind your blue is the uh, fantastic flyers from Turnstone, and yellow is the, uh, fearless the fearless, flyer. yeah. Which is interesting to be yellow and be fearless. That's, that's, right. a, that's a contradiction <laughs> there. I, uh, and let's see what happens if uh, the coaches had their chance to talk to the. Talk to them and make some strategies a little bit, maybe. Changes yeah. In their play oh, and there see comes. how they go. Fantastic. Coming down right away. Yep. And uh, Starting right, it's out there in front. Aggressive. It's out there in front. Oh. Is it? A oh, no! Wayne Blames did not oh, waste yeah. any time. No, they didn't. Uh, oh, my goodness. Wow. That was quick and uh, wow. So, that's it. That's his first goal, and it really didn't take any time. Oh, uh, what? Two minutes or so? Yeah. Two, he had the minutes. assist on the other goal, yep. and uh, they put Sh Sean Boosie in uh, for uh, in the goal, and he didn't uh, get much of a chance there, did he? No, he sure did. I mean, Greg Boosie. Yeah, Greg Boosie. Yep. Uh, two on one call. Okay. Tell you what. to the uh, Fantastic Flyers. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You can see Brandon is shaking his head. He's saying, uh, you know, either about that core or about the fact that uh, they need to get themselves together because yep. they're digging themselves a hole here. And you see uh, in the waiting in the wings, the uh, the other Indiana teams getting yep. set up. They're sitting there watching. The rollers on one side and the impact on the other. Right hand side there. Well, now, All right. Still, uh, still retains uh, possession. Ryan Grimes going to kick it in. Let's see what Ryan can do yep. here. Kent on one hey, side and he's got yeah. Julie Myers on the other. Yep. See how they got set up here. And look at that. Uh, Brandon uh, and Greg are in the goal. Yep. And not a very oh, strong kick. Oh, didn't quite kick. get enough up on that one. Not a strong kick at all, but it's still floating and yep. spinning right out in front. Right on the right hand right side there. Him. We're looking at Greg, and uh, he is uh, he's number 24, and uh, he has that number on his chair in honor of his his hero, Mr. Jeff, Jeff Gordon. Gordon of the NASCAR fame. Yep. 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 And, uh, all right, that ball is floating out there. There's another shot on goal. Oh, just one. Right Can't the They just oh, missed that man. one. Just missed that one. Kicked it in quickly. And it comes back. Well, while we're here, at some point, I want to just mention there's some other great stories that you're going to hear about some of the play, play. We haven't covered the Charlotte Power Surge, but uh, one of their players, Michael Alexander, we want to give him some good luck. He's leaving here and going to take uh, his LSAT the test exam. Wow. He's, uh, he wants to enter law school, and he's, uh, he's got a degree in philosophy. So how about a philosopher and a lawyer? Is that such a thing possible? I'm not sure. I don't know, I would, but that's inspiring. Uh, that is place, inspiring. Place for the power surge. And I want to give him credit for that. Uh, he's, uh, he's also uh, had a great relationship with uh, Chris Canty from the Dallas uh, Cowboys at defensive end, and uh, they supported the Charlotte team. So uh, he gave them a $1,000 donation really? to the wow. team. So uh, there's fantastic. a little bit of football energy and power soccer power energy. Soccer, of course, yeah. in, uh, in the rest of the world, soccer is called football. football. So yeah. maybe that's the connection there, but maybe. I love it. So Ryan Grimes, another kick in. Uh, here's another chance for them to score. They have yep. really kick out there right to Julie. Julie with a shot. Julie shot. Oh. Blocked by Brandon. It's thrown out there. It's still Kent. out there, though. Still had a chance to get it in. Kent could not get it. Chad Cahill going head to head there with Kent Romy. Yep. And now it's to Brandon. Oh, look at Chad, he came right back in uh, there. Can't get control of that one. All right, and that ball is gonna go out and again. Fantastic with another chance. Yeah, that was close. They, they seem to be dominating their sister team. Yeah. I'll bet almost everyone in Indianapolis watching these things. Big Colts fans, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Of course, the Tampa Bay, uh, Buccaneers gave him uh, the coach, so uh, ha, we gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
Let's see what's going to happen here. Very dangerous place for that yep. ball to be. But look how nicely Brandon took that ball away, and there he goes. Going down. Scooted around him. And they're continuing. All right. Yeah. That's number seven. We hadn't seen much of Chad Cahill. No, nope, sure haven't. He's oldest on the team. I can't, I almost can't imagine that. Good. He's uh, in college at the Indiana Purdue. Oh, right out. Oh, Ooh. Wayne. Nice Good for job. him. Not an old team at all. And that's oh, wow. why Mobility for Kids is the uh, sponsor of this game. It goes all the youth out there. Mobility, the number four, kids.com. The uh, supplier, the creator, I would say, of some of the most incredible recreation material for kids in terms of their beach they, cart, yeah, go-karts. I'll tell you what, we should have one here at the, uh, at the tournament. It would be so much fun, but yep. you can check it out on our website. We know we have it on the website, some pictures of some of their stuff. And, and uh, really great. Look at this. Nice, nice ball handling. Kent goes to shut him down. Go back. Go Collins back. trying go to block back. it from getting around. No, no, oh, let's go. No. Field battle here, right Keep near us. Straight Collins and Kent. We're giving up. It's going to be a jump right ball if they don't move it. Sideline here. Oh, there oh, it is. Clear it up. And then nice shot to Brandon. And there's Ryan. Go, Ryan. Oh. Little Ryan, there he goes. Gets and they're going to call him for uh, blocking. Is that what they did? Yeah, he, uh, yeah. He, he blocked him out. He, he uh, not didn't allow him the free way to get to the ball. So uh -huh. he's backing up right in front of him. Okay, Ryan, what is he going to do here? Is he going to go for a big kick or yep. is he going well, go to pass it? Yep. All right. It's oh, stopped good block. Out front. Oh, there's a chance. On the left hand Brandon, side. Brandon, Brandon yeah. having to do some real work here. Yeah, he has. You know what, I think if Julie hadn't touched it, I think it would have been off of, uh, of uh, Brandon's chair. I think it would have too, yeah. Not a very strong kick there, but... Yeah. Uh... Stop it. Oh! There's a collision there. Oh, man. Everybody okay? Ryan Grimes yep. running into... Uh... Colin took a hit, too. Yeah, he was Colin. right behind him. His back wheels came up off the ground. Yep. You don't want that to happen. No, you sure don't. Well, they're going to bring a substitution. Zach Keys are coming in for, uh, for who's going out? Oh, is someone already made this switch already? So Zach, Colin, and, uh, and uh, Brandon. Yep. All right, Colin hitting it in. Okay. Look at Zach. Zach trying to find a hole. Two on one. Two on one call. They got it deeper. There's an opportunity here. Yep, sure is. This is a. Uh, this is what you want to have happen. It gives you. There's a lot of goal there, and uh, if they can uh, engineer a play there. Good hard swing. Wow, but it was, he missed the missed the shot a little bit. He needed to lead him a little bit. Yep. And not have it on his back, but. Uh, a textbook, a textbook play there that needs to yeah. be executed perfectly. That's what they do, right? They practice. Yeah. Yeah. And there it goes. Turns it around. Turn it around. You hit it and just sometimes the ball just doesn't go right where you thought it should have gone. All right. Chain signs. And Ryan Grimes. Ryan's got the ball. He's going to be kicking it in. Looks like it may be kicking it into Julie. Nope. There's uh, Zach. Zach. Zach anticipating. Yep. Good defense. Yeah. They may have lost the ball, but. Keeps, uh, possession wait, of it. All right, substitution here. Yep. There we go. We haven't seen him in a few minutes, and that's uh, Luke. That's Luke. Yep, yeah, Luke's back in. Luke played this. And Luke's going to get to hit the ball. Ready to swing. He's got a superman. Oh, nice, uh, nice, nice. On the side of his chair. Yeah. Up two and one. Two and one. Okay. So change the possession here again. Yep. Oh, it didn't wait very long for that one. No, it sure didn't. 
Oh, not what they want to have after. Got away from him. That's going to go down deep, deep, deep. Into the left hand uh, side. Nobody close enough to be able to pick it up. They got Greg. Do anything with. Greg is just hanging in there in that goal. Yeah. Now, we didn't see Greg in the goal last time, did we? No, we didn't. I don't think so. Yeah. If you notice, looks like Greg uh, controls his wheelchair with his mouth. So that takes yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of experience to try to do something like that. It does. And he's hooked up with a lot of uh, some life support. Yep. And uh, if, you, if you're at home and you think uh, you can't do you can't something, do it. Well, take a look at this kid. That's right. He's out here and he's doing it and he's uh, he's serious Playing about full it. Full contact ball. And good at it. And yep. there he is in a team that's going for the Vision Two Championship. So. I mean, you can't ask for a better experience than that for somebody. I sure can't. Oh, there's more contact. Uh, That's Luke, I think, a little yeah. bit of excessive use of chair. Yeah, <laughs> slightly. Oh, nice kick. And oh, he just, Colin just could not catch up with oh, that ball. Sure it looked like Try. a beautiful, beautiful lead. And I'll tell you, when you see that executed perfectly, you know it's a thing of beauty. Oh, it is. It's very, very pretty. People say, when I tell them that power wheelchair soccer, they just cannot I get an idea that people can play it. And I, I, we've seen it, we see it yeah. here. I mean, the incredible passing, uh, moving either. It's not just hitting the ball, it's, it's strategy involved in this. And you know what also it is? It's being able to just be able to be ready for what happens. Right. Because there's so much of the time, the opportunities happen, the ball spins a certain way or whatever, and all of a sudden the ball pops out and there's your chance. You gotta, you gotta go for it. Right. And you play goalie, and uh, yep. you're a, a tie water piranha. Look at this. I don't know that uh, what he was thinking about that line. That was so gentle. Yeah, that was, and there wasn't anybody close by, so. I think that's like a feather kick. Yeah. Is that such a thing? Uh, if it isn't, it is now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it is, yeah. All right. All right. Oh. Well, we switched cameramen, I noticed. We have Gunnison Carboni back on the camera. What's up, man? Doing that camera now. Well, you got to watch Gunnison Carboni. Don't turn your back. He'll sugar you or salt your beer. He's just a, <laughs> just a real uh, character out there. And uh, great guy on the camera. Great guy. He does great interviews. And uh, right. if you ever want to see some interesting stuff, he was uh, our man on the scene at the tennis uh, tournament, the Boca Raton Open. Wow. And he covered that, and it's on the web, and it's really worth watching. It's a great, he, uh, he got Estevan gear, and some of wow. the top players in the country were there at that. And uh, Gunnison did some interviews, and uh, he's interviewed Josh Blue, and he's done oh, really? some stuff. Wow. Yeah. Deal. It's, it's, all there right. it is. There's a, maybe a, it's a corner, a corner chick, a and it comes across. Go get it, go get it. Oh. Got, it, got away from him. Could not. That's the second time. I'll tell you what, we have about uh, maybe seven minutes left in this right. game. Yep. Maybe, uh, and we're uh, still 2 0. 2 0. And Fantastic is staying ahead of the Fearless Flyers, and uh, let's see what's going to happen here. That's really one of like the, what, two or three scoring opportunities they've had. Yeah. All right. All right, bouncing back. I'll tell you bounce what, if, 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 you see, if you see fearless team score a goal, it's going to change this whole dynamics. Oh, it is. It'll just put that up. But on the other hand, if it gets to be 3 nothing, I think the game will be over for sure. Right. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes, right. Tiffany. Look right. at it. Shot. Oh, wide. Jack could not get there in time. And Tiffany got back there and closed oh, the door. Nice job, Tiff. And she, she, she went back so far, she moved the goalpost. Yeah, I was say, she moved the goalpost out of the way. Yeah. Luckily, they have a mark there so they can yeah. know. But he was, he had the opportunity there, but it was just such a, a, a real zip zap play there. It was. Well, they get the ball back. There I was talking about them needing to the score, and I thought, wow, we might have just seen well, it right there. Exactly. Nice. Lightly kicks it out to him. Yeah, but uh, this is the team they want out there, I think. Yep. I think I, I haven't seen that much of Zach, but I'm really impressed by him out there. Yeah, he's been hustling back and forth. Been doing a great job. Yeah. 
Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic gets to uh, get the get the ball. Almost and, like shirts and skins. He's yeah. Oh, it looked like Ryan was going to really belt it, but uh, he just nice little soft, soft hit. Yep. Oh, gets around him. Oh, uh, just way right. Yep, we're going to have a corner kick coming on. Oh. Yeah, kick out in front. Yep. Kent Roman came in there to try to anticipate that Holland shot, and he got on some excessive contact there. The ball gets back to Turnstone. So we can see him. I don't block you out. Oh, you're fine. Kick goes in. You won one call. Yep. All of them together, yep. Yeah. They just haven't executed as well as they need to. The score against the score. They had some close calls, but. Yeah, the Flyers get, try to get it out and get a little breathing room for them. Looks like Kevin's talking to the ball there, didn't he? Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen to me, ball. Ryan, get around him. You know, Ryan Grimes, uh, you know, I have to say one thing. Ryan has uh, done so much for the sport in Fort Wayne, and, and he, he basically, these two teams Ryan, are, are he's it. responsible for bringing it in and, and, and being the, the real uh, spark plug for, yeah. for power soccer in Fort Wayne area. So uh, everybody, oh, there's at least a 2 on one and a crash and everything. Yeah. I think there's three in the goal and a, <laughs> no. Got it all. Yeah, no, I don't know about that one, but I just think we're coming down no to about two minutes, two, two, uh, two minutes at most, two and a half minutes in this game. Yep. And who we Luke have? Luke has gone in, and we got substituted with. Um, Is that Robin Gibson? With Robin Gibson, yeah. Yeah, she, Robin's she needs a college grad. Sociology uh, yeah. degree and needs a job. That's right. She's looking for a job. So if you're in the Fort Wayne area and you're looking for someone who could be really dependable, let me tell you about Robin Gibson. <laughs> she has a degree in sociology. She plays all positions. She uh, high, well, high, highlight of her career is she scored three goals in a game. Wouldn't you want to have someone like that on your team working yeah. for you? Yes, you would. Okay. That's called dedication. Okay, Robin. We're hoping you get a great job, and if you need a reference, yeah. just call me. Call Rob Rowan at xable.com, and we'll, we'll, we'll be glad to give you a reference on that. Because we oh, know. Good play. Spread out real good. Now you can tell a lot about someone from the way they play the game. That's right. Uh, Robin playing some tough defense there. Yeah, not right there, but she's you know, up against Zach. So, uh, Zach's a force to deal with. Robin. Yeah. Here it goes, another shot. And can't say to block it. Good block, too. Here's Ryan. Oh, oh. boy, that's a hit. Boy, I Ryan saw took. Head just and around. that is a yellow card. Oh, got a yellow card. All right. Ryan got to be that's careful. That's the first yellow card I've seen. That's the second one for me, it's yeah. saying. Yeah, I've seen. They didn't give us any, though. I've kept that's clear of the refs. I kept clear of the refs, even the one with the beagle. <laughs> Andy Green. Gotta watch him. He's always snapping at your heels. Okay, he's out in front. And there's a goal! Score. They're on the board! On the right hand side. I don't know. Did, did Zach get it? I think Zach got a head on it. Yep. Not much time left. Nope. But it brings the deficit wow. up. Or down, we get away. I think Brandon gave it to him, and that's the way it went. I think he'll get the assist on that. I'm not sure, but but wow, Zach Kieser uh, with that goal, and uh, let's see what happens. There's not a lot of time left, yep. but at least they have a chance. And get it down there now; they can score. And who was the who was the assist from? Right, not I much time left. Uh, I think we're on referee time. Yeah, so. borrow time. Yep. They got to get it down there. They can't. They got. That's right. Oh, it was tell, flooding. They all stepped it up. They're really, they're really hitting hard now. Trying to get it freed up there. 
There's Ryan. Colin trying to get a hole there. Okay, two on one. Two on one. It's an opportunity there. They move the ball a little further there. Yep. They don't have much time. This Got is it. Of, the ball. of course, if they get a chance for the scoring opportunity, they might actually give them a little bit more time on it. Yep. Oh, here comes Kent. It's what he want to do. This could be the end of the game here. Got Keeping it down here, unless they can get it over there. They're going to run out of time, and it'll be down on their end. And Chewy went off for them. And that is the end of the game. The game. Division two championships. The fantastic Flyers have won Division two over the Fierce Flyers. Wow. Wow, that, came, that got a little bit go cool hairy there at the yeah, end. It was at the end, my God. Zach Kaiser with that beautiful, the pass came to him from Ryan, from, uh, from uh, uh, Brandon Stump, and he just put it in to make it close. Oh, oh that was fantastic. Okay, was we, close and I tell you what, I have a feeling we need to pick up a, a winner, a, uh, someone for this, and, and my, I have uh, my idea is pop, I, I'm thinking of uh, this gentleman right here. What do you think? I think that, that's Ryan good. Grimes. Yep. And we did Ryan before, yes, but but you know what? He, he, he had an assist and he scored a goal, and he was out there in the middle of every play. Yep. And that's uh, that's about what it is. So they are the champions of Turnstone, the champions of Division Two, and uh, wow, they are so excited. You could just see the excitement of it. But what a great game! Two one. What do you think, John? That was extremely close, wasn't it? I mean, golly. And we want to thank Mobility for Kids as the sponsor of this telecast. And they really uh, go to their website, mobility the number four, kids.com, and you will have a chance to see some of the greatest stuff. Look at Tiffany, yeah. give everybody a foot there. Uh -huh. So she's got a lot of energy going on. Don't you know? Yeah, let's see if we can get out there in the middle right. and grab a hold of Ryan. And uh, I'll grab this chair here. Ryan, come on over here. 